rush. Okay, so but, like but still, then, so you're going over to where Rafrako is. Why? Yeah, up, uh, almost up. Okay, so you you just kind of wander in. Um, do you care at all that the Maybe house is in shambles? Door. Like you know, Mark, you're uh, sitting in a chair, but it looks like the house. Like somebody just went in and they just turned everything upside he's down. Back in the. I, no, I don't. Bar. I don't care. Okay. okay so, no, he has to grab some stuff from our house, so he just kind of. Yeah, but he's he in goes bar. in, grabs he it, already did, and he's gone. So. Nothing grabbed and uh, he's leave. Uh huh. So, Afraco, I actually wake up on time. It's like, um, was I coming on this adventure? Did I want to? Let's see, what is that? No, I think so. So, no, I don't even know there's an adventure happening. I just wake up because it's like, oh, did someone enter the house? And then, uh, Tukri's like, go back to bed. <laughs> so, like, Isha's the one who, she gets up fully, she looks over, she shakes her head, and then she goes over to Marky and tries to, like, tap you awake. Constitution. Say what? Um, let's see. Do you have to? Yes, you must roll Constitution. Because you Eight are getting closer and closer with the divine, so you're going deeper and deeper into trance. Sometimes. Oh. You don't have any sort of training to keep your mind in the right state of mind. Is it a saving rule or, or that like is a, a save? Is a saving. That is a Constitution save. Okay. And, oh, that's a good one. It's a good one, but it's is it good you? enough? It is good enough, so. He yes. touches you, and then you're awake. Like, that's, and she's saying, hey, it's Trance. time to it's time to go. Your adventuring party's probably going to be leaving soon. I have a like, different unless mission. they're not. That's just, unless you're not going. I have a different mission. It's like, oh, and then she just, she goes, she goes back to bed. It's like, oh, okay. Let's see, this goes Thank back you for to waking. Thank you for w uh, Thank you for waking. Oh. It's like, oh, okay, I go away. <laughs> like, she's she's already in bed, and she's like, she's waving a hand, her right arm up, and it's like, all right, go away. <laughs> so, right. do you meet Thorin? So, no, you don't. Thorin, wherever you were, you're, you're already at, so. Wait, Thorin, where were you going to begin with? Going outside and okay. thinking. So you're just kind of chilling there. I, I'm just leaning against the wall. <laughs> okay, so it's say say are you still dreaming the same dream of you falling through an endless chasm of eyes looking at you? <laughs> Why not? No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So so and you hear the same voices like as much as I enjoy watching you fall through an end your own endless torment it's time to awake. Okay. <laughs> so you're just saying okay, and then the, you feel him start pulling you out of your dream? Pretty much. So, you wake up, and what's your perception like? Just roll perception. And I'll roll challenge. You need to roll at least a 20. Okay, oop. Well, too low. Um, so, how did you make it look like that? Um, I am a very powerful wizard. Okay, I gotta figure out the code behind that. I used part of the NPC macro code and created my own custom one. Yeah, that's what I, that's a, you, you always make the better code, that's just your style. Okay, anyway, so, no, it's not because you didn't, it's, um, it's really rang, it's, Rang, you feel that like you're you're looking around, like you your eyes open and you're looking around for Rang, or are you actually looking around, or are you just waking up? I am rubbing my eyes and cracking my joints. Okay. Which way are you laying? Are you laying face down, face up? Um, sideways. Sideways. So well, it starts to trickle in, but you feel that there's some there's that you have the feeling that Rang is standing on you. At least on your shoulder. I sit up abruptly. So you, you turn your head to the left, or you sit up abruptly, 
and you feel like it's moving, like you you kind of feel it's his Rang's wings brush against you, because he's sitting like you're you're sitting up abruptly all of a sudden. <laughs> you really like sitting on me, don't you? It's like uh, I'm your familiar. I'm to be by your side at all times. Well, whatever you want. It's like uh, it is not a matter of want. It is a matter of necessity. Well, if you say so. What's the time? It's like uh, it is time for whatever mission you said would lie out. You said around morning is correct. Well, it is morning now. Okay then. Into the bar we go. And so, like, he <laughs> looks over. It's like, are you not going to awaken your mate? I, I just like nudge her slightly. So, and she just um, it's like you know that thing needs to keep its thoughts to itself. Thought so. Anyway, um, yeah. It's, um, it's like it's as much as I would love keeping my thoughts to myself, I cannot. You're a raven, right? Can't you like, mimic at least sound? Okay, so. And it's like he, he repeats exactly what you say back to you. So can't you do that and like form it into sentences? It's like, that is not my best way of communicating. Shrug. So yeah, it's like, um. Many have called it lazy the way I communicate, but I just see it as the most efficient way using the least amount of effort. That's that's what lazy is. Yep. Anyway, I need to get dressed. I stop so, looking around. And so he's I'm not moving. Good. He's he's, stay, he's gonna stay on your shoulder even while you're getting dressed. Even while I'm like putting on a shirt and stuff. Yeah, he like yeah. he flutters away when you do that, but then he just returns back to your left shoulder. <laughs> Okay, yeah, um, I get dressed and, well, I guess... Probably the creepiest probably part the creepiest of that is, that, that is that, like, although he's looking forward, you can see at least two of his eyes are always focused on you. Although it's kind of hard to tell because he doesn't really have pupils. I see you. <laughs> yeah, so... You get the feeling that he's always observing. Onward to the tavern. So, Heart Flame is up. Does she care about armor anymore? Okay, so she is wearing armor this time because, you know, this is an actual battle. She does need her armor. Okay, so okay. you're both awake. Marky and Niltar in the arranged meeting spot. Thorin, where are you? <laughs> still outside. Alright, so. Oh, yeah, you're still just chilling I'm outside. Marky's not even coming I'm, on the mission. I'm He's just in the tavern at the time. I'm leaning against the wall. I'm waiting for Thorin. About what the deity could be. Okay, so Thorin's pondering what what could this uh, deity be, or. Meanwhile, Marky's sitting there looking at the. Uh, okay, waiting so for the time. Let's skip like, ahead a little bit. And let's do Spicoli and Skeen. So, uh, Crean and Spicoli. So, Crean. Uh, let's go. Yeah. Let's go, Spicoli first. It's um. So you just after that time you slept a good five hours, right? Has, yeah. Has my god talked to me yet? <laughs> Say what? Has my god talked to me yet? Uh, the answer is he has tried. He's tried. Yeah. I was praising the sun. <laughs> okay, so you're praying to the sun. It doesn't really talk to you though. It's more of signs of approval. So. As long as I'm approved, I'm happy. Yeah. So. Sounds of approval, like, you know, sometimes you see the light flashes in odd ways or things like that. You know, very subtle signs that it takes someone who actually worships this deity to understand. Because he's not going to, uh, he's not the type of person to just overly just talk to people. He's the type of person to show you his approval rather than tell you his approval. Well, that makes me feel pretty good. Yep. Morale boost ink. <laughs> Well, anyway, so you you you're pretty sure you got you're approved by your god. So now what? I guess I wake up and see if okay. Crean's awake. Crean, are as you well. just hunched over? And uh, let's see, is he? Are you not AFK anymore? Uh, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah. Did you? So you're just like kind of curled up in a ball in the corner. Yeah. 
Okay, so let's see. Roll Constitution. <laughs> Me? Constitution. Yeah, no, for a crane because he's rolled up in a ball oh, yeah. in the corner. Yeah. Crane, I actually realized uh, that the sun is out. Crane's race doesn't have to do that. He's oh, what? He doesn't have to curl into a ball? So what does he, how does he oh, sleep? Oh, yeah, that's true. He doesn't actually sleep, he just goes into a sort of meditative state, and he's completely aware of his Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I forgot about that, so never mind, screw that. Yeah. I'm sorry, uh, three cranes are not my specialty. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Okay, so... So pretty much, you just... Your full awareness comes back, although you're fully aware already. It's, um... Think of it as, like, half-sleep. Part of your mind shuts down. Rest. So now you're up. You're pretty much up and about. What were you doing during those four hours? <laughs> making po making <laughs> Oh yeah, he was making like you see that he's finishing up the touches on his poisons. That he's he's putting the the cork on the last vial and he's sticking the vial on a bandolier <laughs> on his belt. What have you created, my friend? Excuse me. What, what have you created? Oh, poisons for my hunts. For your hunts. What do you hunt? Beasts. Hmm. Very vague, but never. <laughs> beasts what? are my specialty. Well, I am one with the beast, and I'd like you to hunt responsibly at least. Well, with condom? <laughs> okay, so, do you actually understand what you say? Like, you can choose whether or not you understand what hunting responsibly means. I don't understand what he means by that, no. Okay, so, because you've never had the, you never had those limitations. No. As long as you get food on the table, doesn't matter. Yep, so... So he's pretty much in necessity, it's like, you know, his needs before the wild is how Kreen hunts. Kill or be killed. Mm -hmm. Pretty much eat anything you eat, kill, as well, because <laughs> that's Kreen. <laughs> Maybe kill or be killed, but if you kill too much, there's nothing to kill. Oh, there's always something to kill. Okay, so... Karina, you said, roll... Let's see, roll intelligence, I think that would be the one. So, let's roll see your intelligence roll. level. For what? I want to see if you can, like... Can you understand oh. difficult concepts? Like, this is one of them, which is trying to... No, yeah. so you can't. He's an <laughs> idiot. Yeah. So, <laughs> you can't, he doesn't understand what you're saying, Spicoli, it's, um, you know, if you hunt until, if you hunt until there's nothing left, there'll be nothing left to hunt in the future, he's more like, there's always going to be something to hunt. That's like, his firm belief is that there's always going to be more things to hunt. There's never going to be an end to it. Hmm. Well, I guess it's, if I go... So you just walk out on him and it's, uh, Kareen, are you just left standing there? Or whatever you're doing? Uh, no, I think his mic... <laughs> off uh, no, there. no, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I guess I'm just like... Uh, uh, what's that all about? Okay, what's so problem? you just kind of shrug. <laughs> okay, so are I'm you going to meet in the designated that. meeting place where Say is gathered? Say who's getting coffee, and coffee's running low. Cause yeah, I don't need coffee, I got my Yep. Yeah, Damn panic, it. say, panic. Oh, yeah. So, so, like, the bar keeps like, uh, we're down to maybe four days of this stuff, and then we're out. So, if, unless you guys secure more coffee, you're just going to have to do without. Do you have any coffee seeds? Mm -hmm. Or beans? Oh. It's like, uh, beans, yes, not so much seeds. Uh, our land isn't exactly the right climate to grow these. Doesn't matter. Okay, so, because you're a druid, it's like, well, fine, and he just gives you a bean, and so, uh, gives you a couple beans, and it's like, oh, fine, go nuts. If you can make it grow, then, sure. Yes, I'll be right back. I go okay, outside. So, Spicoli Flat. just walks outside. <laughs> Whilst he's going outside, I say, do you think mermaids like coffee? Mm. Like, uh, Harflam's like, everybody coffee. likes coffee. Mm. At least from my Hopefully. experience. Hopefully we'll be able to buy some from them. Plant growth. Okay, so do you actually have the the spell already macroed, or? Yeah, it's not a macro, but I know all the sets. Okay, so I have it all. Well, let basically, me actually. I have to go read up on it because it's basically spell growth. channels vitality so, into the yeah. So. 
Immediate or long-term benefit. So you get to choose. Which one is it? Is this an immediate, where you just grow a plant immediately? Or is it a long-term, where you, you basically make the land enriched, and so now you can actually grow this in this area? Hmm. Tough Apparently you can like, make half a mile of land alter with one spell. That's crazy. But that, but that thing might take eight hours to cast. Yeah. It takes eight hours to cast or one action, so... It's pretty much, so you do this and he won't be able to do much else, Don Andre. Like, he'll do it this here, but his effort will be expanded so much that he won't be able to do anything until he hits the, until we hit the, uh, the bridge. It'll take a long time for him to, to recharge after that. Uh, you said just an action, right? Yeah, it takes one action, so, but you won't hours. be able to do much else beyond that. So you're going to use a lot of energy to cast this spell. Alright, well actually... It does it take energy or does it take a spell slot? That's yeah, it does take a spell slot as well. It takes the Why spell slot it? for the spell, plus a, you can't do anything until we reach the bridge. Um, so a lot of effort. I think, I think if it's just a small bit, I could just use okay. Druid Grab. So for an immediate effort, you will, not be, you will not be exhausted from it. So this is basically you're making a plant grow instantly, but there's no long-term effects. Like you can't regrow the plant here. It's just plant seed, grow plant. Harvest plant, plant dies. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be more trading once we fix all yeah, of this. So. Or you could go logical and say, hey, I can harvest the beans from this plant, and then I can redo the spell and keep doing that. <laughs> Instead of, but, you know, then there's the long term, which is, okay, now I don't got to worry about it. That's just, uh, there you go. Actually, before I do that, I ask, uh, is it Brelog? No, it's not Brelog, uh, it's a barkeep. He doesn't even like he doesn't even tell you his name. It's like it doesn't uh, matter. So what does no. he want? I say I can make half a mile of this land fertile for this uh plant and a lot of other things. It's like I would advise I against that because, you know, we don't want to draw too much attention to ourselves. You know, civil war just, and all. It only alter alters the soil and makes it nice. Okay. But again, it's um that's your choice. It's you'll make this basically you'll make this entire town fertile, but in doing so, you won't be able to do anything until we hit the bridge. Because you you have used all your energy to do so, along with a spell that you can't. So you know, just think of effort wise. It'll take you that long. I'll just make a couple seeds and then come back inside. Okay, so. You can only make one, because you only have one, depending on how many spell slots you expend, which I think is two. Because plant yeah, growth is a it. tier three spell. Okay. How many plant or uh, beans have he, has three, he yeah. given me? How many beans has he given me? He's given you enough to cast as many as you need. He's given you like five. Okay, so I just do one cast of plant growth on all of them, and then I yeah. just come back in with the plants. I don't know, would one on. be enough to grow all five? No. Fine, I just used Druidcraft for the rest. Okay, so... It's slower, but it works. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you come back in with me, and it's, um... And he's, he's looking at you strangely. It's like, how... Oh, okay. I, I'm not gonna ask how you did that, but I guess we'll have it for another few days. Druidcraft. <laughs> so, it's like, so sadly, it's like sadly, this is only enough beans for maybe another two days, so six days in total. Yeah, I turn more. to the barkeeper and say, "You want to know how? He's a wizard, Harry." It's like uh, it's maybe been I don't. It's like I am. I'm not huge on magic. I wouldn't know. It's not being a wizard, say. It's so. being part of nature. So it's um. Druid wizard, close enough. So like you hear rang, mm. just you hear rang in your head saying, uh. He is a human druid, say no. He has great power within so him. What's, what's strange is that, you know, he doesn't say say, he, he says either your first name or your last name. Like, in full. Eh. I guess that's his convention. So, very, very polite, very uh, specific. Okay, so, Skeen, what is it? Are you at the meeting point or are you just going to stay in your room? Yeah, I'm uh, going to the meeting point, but not like so. I would stand like at the wall, like outside or whatever. Okay, so you're outside, ready to go. So. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Thorin, we're back to. Let's see. 
We just did that, 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 and then we're back to Thorin. So, <laughs> Thorin, you're still thinking about that whole everything you've just absorbed. Now what? If I, by any chance, figure out what it could be. Um, I you, like I said, you have your <coughs> theories, but again, it's there's nothing concrete. It's you have theories, but you don't have evidence. Like there's nothing to support that any of this is correct. Well, I kind of shrug and walk over to the bar. Yeah. And just so you know, random things will not just come out of thin air. <laughs> like you're not just gonna just wake up one day and hey, hey, I know everything. No, it's not how this works. I know kung fu. <laughs> Actually. Yeah. I was I was trying to tie my uh, to remember all my dreams. That's okay, so you're trying to remember your dreams. You can roll on that. That would be insight. Oh, insight. Yeah. So, so you're trying to know yourself and see if your dreams have a pattern. Nope. So you don't know. Sorry about that. So you're oh, well. trying to dig, but all you remember is just. Uh, just endless slaughter, that's all you remember from your dreams. Like, you're trying to remember what the voice said and what he heard and all that, but it's not as clear as you think it is. Like, whenever no, you try right. to remember the voice, you you don't hear okay. it, you just see the scene of slaughter. And you see the Rick, undead rising up Rick, and grabbing you. No, I was not trying to remember my last dream, I was trying to remember yeah. all of them. Like I said, all you see is an endless procession of slaughter. Like, you're, it's becoming harder and harder for you to remember, because all you, this seems like all you seem to remember is current memory, not anything from the past. It's like when you try to dig deeper into the past, there's like a huge mental wall there, saying, you know, you don't have to... There's a reason for that, and you probably already know the reason. Uh, well... Yeah, so, yeah. just remember your history. Anyway, so, Thorin arrives at the bar, Marky's there... I guess you guys are gonna go chop down wood now. Chop down wood, yeah. Wood. yeah. Okay, so, so Marky, where are you gonna tell Thorin that he's gonna help? Uh, you're going to help him with uh, the whole wood chopping. I thought we already agreed on that before. You have to. Yeah. You have just met Thorin again, and he doesn't know. <laughs> so, I already. Okay, you already asked. I already oh, knew before. Okay, last so. night before. Yeah. He said, "Yeah, we each." Yeah. Do it, and we said okay. Okay, so, so yeah, Thorin, you can choose to recognize that he's here to help or not. That's your decision. I'm gonna recognize that. Okay, so you come in, you see Marky. Do you like tap him or something, or do you say, you know, it's time to go? Mm, no, I kind of ignore him for the okay. beginning. I want <laughs> prelog. How nice of you. I'm just gonna walk over. So to you walk Brelog. right past everybody, <clears throat> and you go straight yep. for prelog. Okay, so it's like I heard you perused the library for a book about demons. Not really demons, more deities. It's like it's like a book of known demons is a very specific title. I thought maybe I could find what I thought I heard in there. That's like where's there? In the book. Okay, so that's like there's something you're not telling me. I'm basically trying to find the DOD that spoke to me this. Okay, it's like uh it's like I hope you're not going insane with your constant carnage. If I was I already am insane. Okay, so that's like well, very well. It's our resources are limited. It's not like you can get much help here. You'll likely have to seek another source. I was just uh, wondering, maybe you knew about deities. So. I know about deities, Piccoli says. And so it's like, um... And he, like, uh... Brila looks up, it's like, his guess is as good as mine. But know that I do, I do not spend my time studying. So any like he 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 has a smile on his face. It's like, do you just automatically assume that because I have a lot of knowledge, I know more things that I should probably not know? No, but it's because I don't know, and I'm guessing it's no like, one else knows that I'm coming like, to you. Uh, to yeah, I think you need to improve your guessing techniques. <laughs> so <laughs> I am. A, I know. It's like I am a communications, and I am a leader. I am not. A, I am not a scholar. 
If you need things on D's, you can talk to me. I know many. The actual the question, do you actually know about deities? That's a... That's, which one would that be? Religion. Well, yeah, that would be deity. religion, so... Yeah. So he knows a thing or two about religion, so let's roll on it. So roll religion. It. I'm still wondering why it does that for him only. So, yeah. So you know a thing because or two about religion. He's got it. He gets it anyways. Yeah, but it's like it has that weird ass pause to it. I don't understand why though. Yeah, it happens with all the I have, I, I, I have three D dice. is cool. Okay, maybe that's why. Yeah. <laughs> three D dice. dice is messing it up. Because it takes a wild off. roll and then it then tells you the number. Yeah, I know, but it's cool. So. <laughs> I'll turn it off, I guess. Okay, so you can do whatever. Just I just needed to know why it was caught, what was causing it. Okay, so you know a lot about deities, but not so much about what Thorn is describing. Which is but that doesn't mean he's I know talking nothing. about a de de most of his description is it's a deep voice. In a, it's a deep voice in a dream. That could be a lot of things. So you can't. He doesn't have specifics. Trick, the only thing I've said so far oh. is it's a voice. Okay, so Last not night. even that. So he's giving you less detail. It's just a voice. There's a voice in my dream. It's like that could be a lot of deities. Well, I'm gonna ask. What does he praise? Okay. So, uh oh, look. <laughs> what do you praise, Thorn? Haven't you seen the battle? Only the one. Okay. That I took part in. That's the battle I was referring to. What does that have to do with the praising, though? It's like how would how would the battle reference to what he pray what you praise? Yeah, maybe praises. because I spilled a lot of blood. I mean, well, that just means you're a warrior. And just that's what you're doing. That is yeah. so. Uh, I didn't know you were doing it. Like anybody watching didn't know you were doing that for a purpose. You were doing it because you were you were worshiping. They just saw you go in and kill these foes. I was doing it because I worship some sort of deity that is involved with blood. Okay, so... Blood god, eh? <coughs> Basically. So you recognize... That well. So that limits the choices, but still, there's a lot of gods that worship, uh, that are worshipped through sacrifice. So deep voice, yep. blood god. Again, hmm. no, he doesn't know, you don't know deep voice. Like he said, he only said a voice. He didn't say deep voice. And I call him Gorn. So, it's like, close. apparently it's a voice that can intrude. It's a demon or it's something who can intrude in his dreams <laughs> and it's calling for sacrifice. That's all you know. Ad adding behind it is just like, I am calling him Gorn, which apparently came close. Yeah, so. His name. He's called like Thorin's mind is it's Corn, but... Like, but it said that, you know, it was close to what he, his name is. Does he mean Kronos? No, hmm. he's talking... Like, his, uh, he came up with the name Korn because that's what he... Uh, like, that's what his mind is thinking. That's just a deity he fabricated in his head to try and justify this. He is It's a blood god and his name is Korn. Hmm. So, Let me go and uh, check my notes. It's not actually in D&D. Uh, that's a reference to Warhammer. <laughs> <laughs> so, well... But it's like, that's his head putting together, trying to understand what this is. I have a notes of deities like yours that exist. Yeah, of course, but still, notes. it's... No, we're not going to go over the list of deities. That's going to take way too long. And you have an adventure to go on anyway. <laughs> yes. Okay, so... So, like, as soon as Spicoli... Okay, so say you're the one that has to break that, so... Um, Spicoli's about to go over, like... Well, I have a list of deities here that we could go over. So I, I'm basically at this point I say, okay, everyone's here. We're okay, moving so, out. Yeah, so it's like um, Rang is like you share a position of leadership. Mm, might as well. And it's like and so like he he kind of like um, he does a weird head. Uh, you know how the how birds do that weird head thing they do where they kind of shake their head up in the sky. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's why he kind of just does one of those, and then he just looks back. <laughs> Who were you talking to just now, say? I was talking to him mentally. Yes, no. Mentally? And so, like, um, you hear a voice in Spicoli, you hear a voice in your head, it's like, yes, I communicate telepathically. Not all the time, though. Just enough to not make her look crazy. Um, he 
He kind of looks around and then he looks at the bird. Yeah, so... And the yes, bird's looking the bird. at you and it's like, yes, you, the voice you hear is mine. But his mouth is not moving. Strange, I've never seen an animal use their mind to speak with me before. It's like, I am not from here. I am not from this world or this dimension. Oh. Intriguing. Yeah, so... And so, like, say, I guess you're gonna... Because he's... He's looking backwards, and then he just turns around. He kind of like he has to shuffle his feet in order to look forward. Yeah, Lord, you joining them? Okay, so yeah, Nilto, are you going with them? Where? Are you going with the adventure? Because everyone's leaving, and you're seeing everyone's leaving out of the door. So yeah, I am. I am. So you were them. just you were chilling, eating something, and what? You just pack it up and move. Yeah. The, oh shit, the levy. Back up and... Mm -hmm. So you just, uh... I'm just... Yeah, it's like, oh shit, we're leaving. He just gets his food and he start moving. Alright, so... Let's move to the world map. Have a good trip! Okay, so... Okay. Mark is still... Chopping wood. We get in... Well, before we leave, do we, do we get anything, like, to eat them? Uh, oh yeah, okay, so um, Niltor <laughs> as as is seen. the wise one. He thinks uh, maybe we should get supplies before we go. <laughs> as long as I, I, have, I, seeds, already I have supplies, I supplies. Okay, so I assume you'd already remember there's over. a new policy in terms of long range adventuring, which is you have to worry about food and you have to worry about water. So you have food. What about water? I can always purify some. Okay, as long as there's some around. See if you can. Uh, so that's that's going to come down to survival. So if you guys are comfortable with your survival rolls, you're ready to go. If not, then I would suggest getting more supplies. I mean, is that, is that good enough? Yeah. Uh, okay. So he can get the supplies you need, but more people with survival would be better. So I have a plus like that, seven and to we're survival. Going to a, we're so, going to a river. Okay, yeah, but so that's like that's that that's a couple miles away, and that's going to take you days to get there. A couple of miles is going to. No, take not a couple miles. It's like uh, tens of miles away. So it maybe I thought it was like thirty-six miles away or more. It takes me an hour to walk. Seventy-two. Uh, no, not seventy-two. Um, it but it's it's a, quite walk, the distance. Like four miles. Let's just move to the world map. <laughs> it takes me like four hours to walk four miles. Yeah, so we can go or back to the red, the other map, if you feel like. Okay, so on the world map, we're at the top left. We have to go to Deadspan, which is equivalent to hold on I'll show you so that's equivalent to like 50 miles of travel which you can't do in a day that'll you can take at least like two, two days to get days. that far and that's at that's at fast march if you go normal march it'll take you up to upwards to three days well you can survive like three days without water All right, let's so go so. you're gonna have survival but remember there's exhaustion so exhaustion means yeah stat debuffs <laughs> And we're going to be measuring that a couple times. Which is disadvantage on abilities, which is that's just bad in itself. And then two days worth is uh, speed is halved. So do you really want to go without for So do you really want to rely on just not having, just going on survival? Let's just grab some uh, I mean, canteens. Data. Grab I'm some so basic supplies. Okay. All right, so. Grab a canteen or two. Okay, so or basic minute. thing, you have to go to the middle of Deadspan, which is equivalent to 10 miles. Or, yep, 10 miles, so it's 10 miles to get to the middle of Deadspan. On top of the 50 miles you need to travel, that's 60 miles in total. If you go Forced March, let's see, let's see which one you could do. So normal speed will get you 24 miles, which would get you, in like three days, you would get there. And then it'd take three days to get back. This this is the dead span, right? Yeah, dead span is the bridge. Ah. It says dead span on the name. It says dead span on the bridge. <laughs> it's kind of hard to read. Okay, so zoom in. Zoom in. Top right, little slidey bar. You can zoom in and out. Okay, so dead span. All right, so let me see if there's a package deal here. Answer is no. Each one's bought individually. So, the price of a gallon of water in silver is today 
Seven silver per gallon. You need one gallon per day. So in total, that's equivalent to what? Twenty-one to get there. Twenty-one to get there? Two gold and one silver or something. Seven times. It takes to yeah, get there and get, well, to get there, it's, yeah, seven times three. So you're just thinking of getting there. That's if the water is purified enough for you to use. So a lot of assumptions. But, yeah, it'll take yes, you it'll at take least you. two gold, one silver in order to get enough water to get you there. If you're not feeling comfortable that you want to, if you want to get back and don't have to worry about water, then I'd advise spending double that, which is four gold. Uh, if you are willing to wake my character up, you c I can pay for that. <laughs> well, kinda. Because <laughs> he's got 16 he's got gold to spare. Now. Oh yeah, Say can pay for that because he's rich. Yeah. Okay, so... How many adventurers were coming along? Six? That's what I last counted at. Seemingly. Alright, let me roll down. Okay, so... So, I guess, say, you're gonna pay... Oh, five. Okay, so less adventurers. So, five adventurers, that's almost ten... That's ten gold, five silver, just for water. So, say it's gonna pay for that, I guess. One gallon of blood is per person. Yep, one gallon per person. How much does a gallon of liquid weigh, anyway, so... That is a, a lot of water. Okay, so massive. For one day. How much is it? It's like a, it looks like a giant bottle. It's like a liter bottle. So More and a couple of bottles. So you have uh, gallon, how much? How many pints was it to? Uh, shit. Well, gallon is a lot of water. We have one person for one day. It, it is almost four liter of water. What a gallon? A gallon's yeah. not four. A gallon is equal to a liter. A gallon's almost not four, four liters. liters. No, it's, it's almost 4 liters. It is 3.785 liters. I thought it was equivalent. <laughs> no. Nowhere near. Metric and fuck? Imperial are ridiculously different. Okay, that's, that's odd. I'm gonna have to double check that, actually. Because in the... the rules say a gallon. Yeah, but a gallon and a liter are, are completely... Yeah, okay, so... That is, a, that is something like three days worth of water. I'm gonna have to double check that in the future. Because I'm pretty certain that they're, they're similar, but I have to... to oh, they that. aren't. They are not. Colin is... It. You know those water fountains you get in the offices? Now, uh, okay, yeah, you're right. Bottles. So a gallon is equal to four liters, three point seven eight liters. I I know a gallon though. A gallon doesn't seem like that much. If I'm <laughs> wrong. And a single gallon of water weighs eight pounds. Okay, so. Huh. Let me check the rules. It's like, huh. Should we use real life? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Likely. You just need to place, yada, right? Um. The environment, food and water. Let me actually go look at that again. Can't you create food and water? So a character needs one gallon of water per day. So that's that's what the rules. <laughs> that's what the rules. Very are unlikely in real life. That's crazy. Okay, do you want to go by liters instead, so that it doesn't sound as ridiculous? Liters sounds a lot more. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so we're gonna go by one liter of water instead of one gallon of water. So let, I'm gonna have to change that because you're right. That is a bit. That's Two a, liters. That's is crazy. One gallon, right? Now that I think about it. Really, just, really just, just think of a liter. gallon milk jug and drink all that water. Yeah, then you know that seems reasonable for one day of travel. It's like, yeah, that's... You know how much you have to piss? Okay, so... Okay, on, so you guys are saying you're gonna need humans, less water? You're traveling, like, miles, so... On average, humans need 2.2 .2 liters per day. Okay, so now we're going scientific, which is... Have a gallon. And we're going by, you guys are conservative, so you're gonna go one liter a day. But the prices still remain the same. The only difference is the weight, which is it's gonna weigh less. So it's gonna weigh a fourth of what it weighs 
You said it's the way it's like nine pounds for a gallon or eight pounds. Yeah. So now it only weighs two pounds. That's the only difference. But you need more than one of the liter of water in order to survive longer. So. So you're each going to have three liters of water. So that's six pounds in total. You just put three, the yada yada yada. So. Would you like it as group? One of the things I'm trying to introduce is group supplies. It's like, all right, so it's not each of you is carrying individual supplies. It's you have a group pool shared among your weight that you can carry, and I have to do a calculation for that. And no, that sounds like a lot of work. Never mind. Because then I have to calculate, all right, how much of each each of you has access weight and blah, blah, blah.